So I'm back, I've got my glue, I've got scissors, I've got other colors of paper. Now I'm going to start working on the features and I'm thinking, well, I might want another color because I have red. I don't want the eyes, nose and mouth red, but might be interesting to cut a crazy nose out of this red and then see what I can use from that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. So when we glue a large paper cutout to another paper, all you really need to do is put a little contour line of glue around the edge. You don't need a bunch in the middle. That will only make your paper um, get wet and scooch up and it won't look right. So you only need enough glue, place it down on there, make sure it's where you want it, and then smooth it on. Smooth that on. And I had a little bit of glue on my fingers, but that's okay, it'll dry clear. This assignment, we need glue, scissors, and paper mostly. I'm not drawing many of these shapes. Now here's this huge nose, and I need to decide where to put it. This is all about fun. It is about describing. This lesson came from a book called Go Away Big Green Scary Monster. So this would be Go Away Big Red Umbrella Shaped Nose. I would be describing it that way. Maybe for the eyes I could cut oval shapes. They tend to work just great. They read as eyes. So it could be Go Away Egg Shaped I ovals, right? It's starting to look like a monkey a bit. And I'm at school, so I'm checking the time for buses. They're about to get here. I'm shooting this video early in the morning to get some work done. It's Thursday here at Frontier, and tomorrow is our virtual day, so I'm going to get caught up on grades, but Please be sending in your assignments because I need to see your work to give you credit. Um, I'm getting a lot of blank assignments or someone typing done and there's no project and I can't give a grade for that. I have to see the work. You know, just like in class, I have to see what you do. I think everybody's great and wonderful, but this is art class and I do need to see your work. So. I'm cutting eyebrow shapes now. And then I can arrange them and see how they go. They can come off. That looks kind of neat. Sometimes when you drop it, it might give you an idea for something else. So I can mark this with my glue and just draw a line there. Try not to use too much, just enough. And that is the secret to having clean, good-looking craft. So there's that. Now I need a mouth. Okay, so talked about that other color. Now over here, and I'm in the art room, I've got all these. Green is something I don't have. Orange is also. I think I'll have an, an orange mouth of some type. Now, maybe this looks too masculine, too manly. Maybe I will cut more of a lady lip looking lips out of this, just to confuse my audience, just to go, what is that? Is that a, a man or a lady or... So I might start to make this look more ladylike and think about the hair in a different way. And now it looks more friendly than it did. It's almost got a smile on its face. Let's see. I could use black because the eyebrows are black. What shape did I make? When I open up my cutout, does that work with anything? It almost does. So this could be a crown. This could be a feature. So we're cutting out these shapes and noticing the negative and the positive, and that's kind of fun. And if I want it symmetrical, balanced on both sides, I put it in the middle. And so this is another one of my attributes 
here's my first one. Here's my second one that I'm working on. Want to make sure that you have eyes, nose, mouth, eyebrows, a face in contrasting colors. This is all about attributes. You should be able to describe my monster face has orange lady lips. My monster face has a red umbrella nose. My whites of my eyes of my monster look like eggshells. That sort of thing. So think about it, describe it. I know in a lot of classes we're describing what we're doing or thinking, which is really good for your brain. If you can think about, well, I can describe these things to people, then you can probably draw these things or write these things or sing these things or tell it in a certain way that people understand it, which is important in the world today. So I might stick this orange here. I like to have my color jump around. I have it orange down here and up here. So that's kind of fun. So I'm going to stick with this. This is my blue-faced attribute monster. It looks pretty friendly. Maybe it looks confused a bit. Think about the emotion of your character. This is either angry or very excited. And the teeth and the eyes kind of work together to give that sort of emotion. This looks surprised. The eyebrows are up. The mouth is sort of open. And so this goes with go away big green scary monster and maybe I'll attach that video for you to watch with this to have the story. This is a lot of fun. We do this every year at school. And if you're at home, all you'll need is a pack of construction paper. Uh, it would be great if you had that. Then you would have all kinds of background papers. They cost about a dollar at the dollar store for a pack of colored paper. And now it's, it's about this size. It's eight and a half, or no, it's nine by 12 inches. So I know that you can get assorted colored um, papers that way. And of course, we've got stacks of this stuff at school. I'm, I'm ordering more today. So when we get back in person, we'll have clay and paint and markers and crayons and all that good stuff to use together. I can't wait to see you all. And please send in your attribute monster. I can't wait to see it. Thank you all.